Hello guys and welcome to my April empties. What a wonderful So as you can tell, this is literally overflowing. I want to say this is probably the most empties I've had in a very long time, but I finished off a ton of products in April. I did start my March empties like a little bit through halfway through April. So this is really only like three weeks worth of products. I just like finished off so much stuff. I don't know how. So let's go through what I finished. Honestly, some of this is kind of a surprise because I forgot what it was. So let's just get started. Okay, let's do some candles first. I have these three that I finished. First up is In the Stars. I love this one. I'm so sad to see it go because I really went through this really fast. It's Starflower Sandalwood Musk and Radiant Amber. I love this one right here on my nightstand at night. It was like the perfect wind down scent. It was like nice and girly and sophisticated. Oh, I just absolutely loved it. I will definitely be picking this up again, hoping that um, I can get it again for a good deal, but we shall see. This next one I literally finished this morning while I was drinking my coffee. This is Caramel Frappuccino from the Candle Day collection this past December. The notes are rich cold brew coffee, frothy milk, and sweet caramel syrup blended with ice. Pretty positive this was just sweet caramel cold brew. Just super, super sugary caramely with like a little bit of coffee. It was mostly just sugar, um, but I really liked it. It was nice. It was nice and like gourmand and really reminded me of like a frappuccino. So I like this in the mornings. And the last one that I finished is this little Trader Joe's single wick. This is chocolate croissant. And I got this as part of like a white elephant gift during uh, Christmas time this past year. As you can tell, it tunneled really bad. I It's probably my fault because I didn't really monitor this one. Like I just, I just lit it up whenever and blew it out whenever. So I really didn't monitor this at all. So it's definitely my fault. I think I'm going to try, I'm gonna look up if I can put um, tin in the candle crock. I think I'm gonna try and use the candle crock on this one because it smells so good. It's literally just like a chocolate candle. It smells really yummy. So that's this one finished. This is kind of ridiculous. I finished four shower gels this month. I don't know how, but I did. I finished off Ice Sugar Plum. Finally, this one was in my project, use it up for the longest time and I finished it. I really liked this one. It was like a nice, fresh, fruity, sweet smell. I also finished off a Vanilla Mocha Cream and this one was also in my project for a while, um, as you can see right here and I love it. I'm probably gonna buy a backup of it just because I know it's like one of my favorites. I also finished off Life of the Party, which was super close to being finished by the time I started it this month. So it was very, very empty already. I really liked this one though. It was like nice and kind of like grown woman-y because it definitely smelled more like perfume than any of the other fragrances I was using. So I really liked this one. And then Ryan actually finished off Leaves in the shower gel. He's been using this probably since like near the end of fall. I got this for him to try because that was the first year that leaves had ever come out in body care and he loved it. I loved smelling it every time he would shower. Oh, it just made me feel so nice. Like made me feel like fall was happening. So I really, really liked this one. He liked it too, loved it. Next, I finished off two body moisturizers. I finished Twilight Woods in the body lotion, which was also in my project Use It Up. I liked this one. And then I also finished, I don't remember what this one was because I cut out the middle of it. So I'll put it up on the screen, but this was Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. I really, really liked this scent. It was like nice and fruity, perfect for springtime. So really enjoyed it. I also finished this Dove Body Scrub in Peppermint Bark. This was from their limited edition Holiday Treats line. Really, really love Dove's body scrub formula. I don't know what convinced me to like finish this up in the month of April because it's definitely not like a spring scent at all. <laughs> it was left over from Christmas, but I really liked it. It was so, so yummy, especially during Christmas time. So definitely would get it again if they brought it out again next year. And I do want to go purchase another um, Dove body scrub sometime soon. I finished off two hand sanitizers, one in Vanilla Be Noel, one in In The Stars. I love both of these scents. Finished off an In The Stars hand cream. I really liked this one. It was a nice scent and it made me feel really, you know, girly and sophisticated. Finished off this little mini skin to mint shave gel in Raspberry Rain. Super simple, just your average shaving cream, honestly, nothing special about it, but finished off a little mini size. Finished off two hand soaps. The first one is White Coconut Caramel. This is so yummy. I don't know why it's an 
a fall scent because I loved it in the springtime. Made me feel like uh, summer was just around the corner. This coconut is so, so yummy. It kind of reminds me of vanilla coconut in the candle. Oh, this is so good. And then I also finished off a Twisted Peppermint uh, gel soap. I like the gel soap specifically in um, my kitchen to wash my hands after doing dishes. I feel like that just like feels better than a foaming soap. It feels like it's cleaning more. I don't know, it's probably just in my head, but I liked both of these. For wax, I only finished off two. I did finish this big Better Homes and Gardens banana and pumpkin bread. This one's so, so yummy. Honestly, I do not get any pumpkin. If anything, it's just banana bread um, with cinnamon in it, which most banana bread recipes call for cinnamon anyways. So I really liked it. It was a nice um, spring scent because it wasn't too gourmand to be like fall exclusive, but it was just enough to like make me really happy and feel like something is baking in my home. So I liked that a lot. And then I also finished off this little Scentsy uh, like mini sample pot and eucalyptus wreath. I loved this so much. I put it in my little like plug-in wall um, warmer instead of like the ones that sit on the counter. I plugged it into the wall, you know what I'm saying? And this was awesome. It was very, very good. I used it in the bathroom and I would definitely get a, a couple bars of eucalyptus rain uh, or eucalyptus wreath because that's like the perfect bathroom scent. I've got so many hair empties for you guys. So now that Ryan and I are sharing a shower again, we are going through shampoo conditioner like crazy and we're trying to finish off um, the bottles that we were using separately in the last house. So we've got the Joyco Moisture Recovery Shampoo and the conditioner in the full-size jumbo. Like, ugh, this stuff is so good. We also finished off a little mini version of the conditioner. Not mini, but like a regular sized, not a jumbo size. And then I finished the Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub. Love this stuff. I think I'm actually on my last one and I'm so sad. They did discontinue this, but I'm gonna go see if anybody's selling it like on Amazon or something. You'll find like sometimes sellers will still sell it after it's discontinued to get rid of you know any back stock. So I'm gonna go try and see if I can't find some more of this one, but it was really good. I use this for my dry scalp um, eczema that I have on my scalp, so I love it. I finished off two hairsprays, the Garnier Fructis Full Control Hairspray. I prefer the sleek and hold one over this one, but I think this one was the only one in stock at the time that I needed it, so it was all right. And then I also finished off the Living Proof Frizz Humidity Shield Hairspray. This stuff is so good, you guys. I definitely got it from like Marshalls for cheaper. And if I found it again, I would totally buy it. This was amazing. So totally recommend. And then another living proof item from the same line, which I didn't realize because I bought these separately, the Frizz line. This is the Intense Moisture Mask. And I use this probably every other week. I really loved it. I thought it was amazing. So if I find more living proof at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I'm definitely gonna buy it because these are so good. And then we just have three skincare items. So the first one is my Mary Kay Clinical Solutions Ferulic Plus Niacinamide Brightener. This one is, I believe, an acid, fer ferulic acid. And you're only supposed to use this a few times a week. So I did use this on my skin cycling days. So I'll do a retinol, an acid, and then a break. And so I used this for my acid. I liked it. It was pretty good, actually. Um, I do prefer the BHA PHA one over this one, but I did like it. Finished off my trusty Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. As you can tell, I like my PHA BHA stuff. Um, I already repurchased a full size of this one. It's so good. I cannot live without it. It feels like my skin is drinking water whenever I put this on, it's so good. And this is the last thing that I finished off in the month of April. This is the Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream. This stuff is so good, I need to purchase another. I'm actually going through a Cause RX Snail Mucin um, moisturizer right now, and once I finish that, I will definitely repurchase this. I'm like slowly falling in love with Bioma. I'm using their um, cleanser right now for my morning cleanser and I love it. So I'm falling in love with this brand. It's really good and they, I think they sell it at Ulta and at Target. So I've been loving this one. And there's my mess of trash. So that is everything for today's video on my April empties. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below what are some current favorites that you guys have and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.